Hey there everyone, today I'm thrilled to introduce you to the latest DIY handheld gaming device. These three handhelds are all pretty similar in price, so we're going to take a closer look at their appearance and size to see how they stack up against each other. This particular one right here is Lao Zhang's Shiving. Just observe its dimensions, it's notably more compact than a regular Shiving. Its thickness is also, well, roughly the same as the Shiving. This particular model, the Fangtang Lemon's Tika Shui, is even more compact. However, the performance capabilities and overall efficiency of both these specific devices are quite limited and have become rather outdated in today's technological landscape, making them considerably less competitive now. These are now quite subpar, rather outdated. This one features a 765G, and this one sports a G99. Both essentially offer the performance of a Qualcomm 845, which is honestly no longer sufficient. Many games will often lag considerably. However, this particular model, which has been modified from a Samsung Z Flip 5, houses a chip that is the... Equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, this device can seamlessly handle a wide array of demanding games. This includes many newer PS3 titles and even a selection of PC games, all of which it emulates with remarkable fluidity. This particular unit is incredibly compact, making it an excellent choice for those who prefer a smaller display. Now let's examine the quality of its construction. Its entire body is crafted from metal, featuring a fan intake vent here, a fan exhaust vent there, and the power switch is located right here. It conveniently utilizes a Bluetooth controller. A single press illuminates the light and establishes a Bluetooth connection, while a double press extinguishes the light and disconnects Bluetooth, making it very user-friendly. Furthermore, its Bluetooth controller doesn't need to be charged separately, unlike the Zhubing handheld, where its Bluetooth components require individual charging. That's a significant difference. Also, this console features a full set of buttons, including both L3 and R3, which are missing on the Zhubing. The Zhubing originally cost 2699 while this particular model. Currently, with its Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 performance, this unit is priced at 2,220 yuan. On this side, you'll find the volume keys. Its physical size is remarkably small. Furthermore, it's available in a greater variety of color options. This particular device is an engineering sample, so its current color is quite simplistic. You can certainly take a look at it. Later on, I have actually planned to showcase their current four available color schemes, all of which are uniquely tied to Dragon Ball, and quite notable, I must add. That color scheme sounds pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and see just how well it performs when it comes to playing games.